In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to organize data in Sync Manager to help users improve their workflow. This demo is using the healthcare UDI data model used to prepare medical device data for publication to the FDA Good ID. So let's go over to my item library to view my items, and I'm going to go into edit mode on my first item. In the top right hand corner, I can select the settings, and this is where I can, can control my views and uh, edit my views. So if I select Views, New View, I now have the ability to turn on and off the attributes that I see. So for this demo, I'm going to switch off Target Market, save that view, give it a name, Ian View, save, and go back to Settings and activate that view by selecting the view. So now you can see it says Ian's View in the top right hand corner, and Target Market has now disappeared. So I can go through and control which attributes I see in all of these different sections. And this helps improve workflow. If I just save and close that, that's how a user would make those changes, but an administrator can also make changes to impose upon users in his organization. And the administrator has, administrator has control over layouts, attributes, and categories. So what I should do now is in layouts, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna edit that edit screen, I'm going to collapse down item information, item flags. So item measurements, I'm going to remove gross weight from my user's view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new attribute. Let's just call it new weight. And select string and new attribute. So that's now added, that attribute. So that's now available to my users. But I now have to make it available to their screens and assign it to a category. So let's just look up that it's not called another, it's called weight. There we go, new weight. What I'm going to do now is add that to my UDI item. Here we go. So that's now available as an attribute to UDI items. And I'm going to add new weight over into this edit screen. Now I've made those changes, I'll click save. Okay, so that's saved. Now I'm going to return to my item list and select edit on that same item. So we're still in Ian's view, so target market we can still see is missing. Let's collapse that. And we go to item measurements. Now we can see height, width and depth is there. The weight's been removed, but my new attribute has now been added, new weight. So that's how you can simply change views and add new attributes and assign new attributes to categories inside of Sync Manager in order to improve user workflow.